Hey guys, it's Polly. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm back here bringing you guys another, however, many blank cards for the game. By just calculating it, I'm too lazy to do the entire game. Anyways, this episode we're playing on the Lego Batman video game, the first of my favorite video game, Lego game. Anyways, uh, this wasn't too hard because it don't. The levels aren't that long anyway, but you just gotta make sure and grab the ones that are in the sleepy spots and destroy basically everything. You know how Lego games work, they, for everything, drop studs. Now I didn't collect every single stud because obviously I'd have to play each level, not each level. I have to play the level over and over until I got it perfect, which really I did not feel like doing. But I grabbed most of them, and I'm just seeing approximately how many studs are in the game. Anyway, so there are a few like of these giant silver things that you can blow up behind that fence over there. So that was worrying me, but fortunately the studs pop out for you, so I was able to grab all of those. But yeah, this is just the story mode. Or, yeah, story mode, not free play. So, see like that, I can just do that. Okay, so basically, you just want to make sure you destroy everything and go behind the little secret areas like that. There's a lot of times there's like studs just hiding behind stuff. I was worried about blowing up this truck, but luckily all the studs did land towards me instead of me not being able to collect them due to going to the next area, so yeah, I was able to collect all these studs, adding to our total, or making our total 36,000 so far. So I did check down there, later in the video you'll see, but there are no studs available to collect down there in the story mode. I might eventually do this on replay, but I'll have to uh, replay through the game for a Anyways, uh, yeah, basically for the rest of this level, just destroy everything. And I chose level 1, because usually level 1 in games is like an average level, so it's the most average things, and yeah, so I'll calculate this later on in the video. Once you're finished building that, you want to make sure you head down there, because there are two blue studs down there, and you can see we already have hero I think or superhero whatever it is and it's just destroy everything now that you're hacking with Robin make sure and 
pick up all the studs, press the buttons, destroy everything in there. For some reason, the video cut out. I have no clue why. Anyways, this is right where I realized I could break those windows, so I had to go all the way back to towards the beginning of the level because there were two red windows that I didn't realize I could break. And there were quite a few studs in there. All you had to do was blow up the stuff in that room, and that's about it. Now you did have to uh, destroy those things in the back, the greenish looking things, I guess. Because those did drop studs plus the red brick once you destroyed all of them. But that's about it for this room. Now I did die right here, but fortunately I was able to pick up all my studs when I respawned and here's the part I was just talking about where you gotta destroy all those things and that's it for this level. Now we got 63,600 studs, so I'll multiply that by 30, because that's how many levels are in the game. You include the bad guy missions or Arkham Asylum missions, so I'll calculate that in the next scene. Okay, so I'm here, back with my favorite calculator. It has appeared in one other video, but anyway, 63,000. 380 times 30. Let's see how many studs are in the story mode. Or about 1,900,1400. Sorry for that pause. There was fireworks. Anyways, 1.9 million studs to complete the story. For a Lego game without multipliers, that's pretty good. <laughs> 